It's an emergency meeting of the Committee on Citizenship and Immigration. Today, you could add partisanship to the name. Is there a crisis in Canada right now? There is a challenge, but it is not a crisis. Liberal MPs toss softballs to Liberal ministers. The opposition has unfortunately been, uh, been painting a picture of chaos at the border. What did you see yesterday at Lecol? What I observed is the exact opposite of chaos. The Conservatives turned those softballs into fastballs. Your colleagues have perhaps not gotten the job done. Well, respectfully, I, I, I disagree with, with the suggestion that the job has not been gotten done. Then hit Liberals with interruptions. The system is to get those people out of the shelter system I, I'm, into I'm permanent housing. That's the $40 billion dollar national to, housing strategy. And then you have a set needed. budget. The influx of asylum seekers has slowed, but it hasn't stopped. And it's getting more difficult and more expensive to house and feed people. Next month, hundreds of asylum seekers face eviction from university dorms in Toronto and will be moved to hotels for who knows how long. Ontarians are pro-immigration, but the current crisis has tested their patience. Which is why Ontario's immigration minister was here to look for financial help. But with a conservative politician in the chair, the script flipped. Ontario receives more immigrants and refugees than any other Minister, could you stick the, to the, the question? Can, can you answer the question? We Suddenly, the, the Liberals were interrupting no, and accusing McLeod's government of using language that stigmatizes refugees. You would rather have a debate on words. I would rather have a debate on making sure that I can fund my ministry. And, the and so it went until... Me and my friend Razak Iyak work for 10 hours in a cold across the border near MSN Manitoba. A human reminder of what this is really about. An asylum seeker from Ghana who lost his fingers to frostbite as he desperately sought refuge in Canada. So we want the Canadian people to please protect us with hope, courage and tell us you are safe here. But that did nothing to end the partisanship. No, I need to know this. We have gone through hours of meetings with you. The political theater quickly resumed. It isn't clear if it will end. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa. David mentioned that the number of asylum seekers making irregular crossings into Canada has been dropping. And we can show you in a pretty significant way. Since January, the RCMP has intercepted more than 10,000 people coming north at irregular points. But month by month, the numbers are dropping. About 2,500 people crossed in April. That was down to 1,800 in May. And there was another drop in June to just over 1,200 people. Now, a representative for the UN High Commissioner for Refugees was at the committee meeting today in Ottawa. He's heard the concerns that the number of asylum seekers in Canada has become a crisis, and he tried to put those numbers into perspective for us. The number has been decreasing a lot in Europe as well, but Germany, which is the double population of uh, Canada, had received in 2016 seven to 800,000 asylum seekers compared to the 50,000 that Canada received. And it's very much in line with what this country is all about, which is about respect for human rights, inclusion and diversity.